Hello again, and welcome back to another episode of building the Klein Shattuck uh, train station. So this should be uh, episode four, and boy, we have a wonderful day in the shop. What is it? It's uh, about 80 degrees in here, 78 degrees in here, and uh, it's a Wednesday afternoon, and we're expecting snow showers uh, perhaps on Friday or Saturday uh, evening. So. Uh, this time of year we definitely get a lot of big changes, so we'll take advantage of the doors open and some nice weather and get to work on the uh, building here. So these are all the pieces. We have uh, laid them all out. We got our base station right there, our base platform. And what we want to do is just, uh, in this episode, we're just going to test fit all these pieces and make sure we have them all and uh, make sure they fit together well. And now we got to kind of figure out the best sequence in putting all of these together because they uh, they certainly have to go in some sort of order just the way they interlock and then how you glue them uh, together so what uh, i did do on uh, before we started filming i went ahead and sanded some of these tabs here uh, they're pretty tight tolerances so i just get a little sander uh, a little miniature belt sander and thin these tabs down just a little bit and that seems to um, that, that works out great so uh, most of these pieces are numbered and they reference back to our uh, CAD drawing sheets and we'll go ahead and start putting these together a, a little rubber mallet is is usually pretty handy in um, tapping these things when we get uh, when they're a little bit on the tight side so let's see, where do we want to start? Uh, we'll take this piece here. Let's see, we'll start with uh, this center piece. And we'll go right like that. And I got this one right here. This is the north side of the building. And I'm pretty familiar with kind of how all these pieces look just because I've been to the, you know, the main, the real building and took all the pictures and worked on the CADs. So Now you notice when we put this together, this last section, uh, there's a gap on these pieces here because the whole roof is designed to lift off and there's a collar that fits, slides down in there. regular like triangular piece here then you see this one has uh, just a little bit more uh, notching on the edges and that is this end towards the middle of the building and that is part of these little notches allow it to sit on the on the walls So these are these mushroom tabs, and they're supposed to go right in here. There we go. Nice. This is for like the, the awning, the roof, and there are two shorter ones. And then we'll go right in on this side. All right, we're going to finish up uh, this section of the cargo station. We have this little piece 21 that just taps in there like that. Then we take piece uh, 13 and these go right on the tabs here. 
line this one up. Right like that. And part number 14 we'll put right here. And there we go. We have this all done. And let's work on the next section. Okay, we've finished up this roof right here. And now what we're going to do is set the collars in place. So there are these big long pieces. They have the notches for that cut out for the window. And this is, I believe, part 39. And it just slides right in here like that. And if you look closely, it uh, has notches for the window. Let me keep this guy close there. And number 38, it goes right here. And you can see how these notches here line up with the windows. And as this comes together, you'll understand a little bit more on how this collar holds everything together. Uh, number 37, we'll go right here. And next we're going to do is uh, build this little window piece. Which will be part 42. 42 is the, uh, the triangle without any notches cut out. And then we'll use part 41 that has these little notches. These little notches rest right here in this cutout. And this piece here will rest on top of here for the moment. We do have uh, these three pieces, which are part of the collar for right in here. We have uh, this end piece, and that'll end up going right there. And then we have these two pieces that uh, will end up going on the inside here. So I'll just put them inside for there, or for right now. We're going to take these pieces and go right along this side here that um, this supports the awning. And just check that these are all the same size. We do have a couple of different size ones of these. So these have a little tab right here uh, that goes in the uh, base. And then this part slides right into the building. So let's see. Some of these may need a little sanding. Okay, we got those in, and next up will be this uh, part 11 goes right on this back side here with this little tab that goes straight into the building. Nice. And then number three, this uh, big long piece uh, with the little notch here, it goes at that end, no, excuse me, goes at this end here. And that little notch piece is right at the uh, uh, transition of the roof line here. One of these goes in right here, just like on the other side. And it fills that, and then this piece then should be ultimately happy. Mm -hmm. 
Now, next up will be the uh, little cross roof here. Now, right now you notice we have a gap here, and I will, uh, further on in the process, we'll fill that with a little quarter inch uh, square piece of PVC, glue that in, and then sand it, and that should uh, turn out quite nicely. All right, next up is uh, we have some more little mushroom tabs. And I'm going to put these in right inside there. And that will hold the floor. Can't put them in on this side yet because um, those actually have to be glued in. So I'm just going to hopefully you will cooperate. It's just kind of laying in there on an angle right now, um, just so we know that's where that piece goes. Okay, all right, so I already have mushroom tabs at this end, and this is be the uh, second floor for the gift shop, and I'll go right in front. But the next thing I think I want to do is uh, insert these. Uh, these were supposed to have the windows cut out, so they're uh, sending me up the new um, the new pieces with the windows cut out. But for right now, uh, we can put these in place and they make this nice semicircle front of the gift shop. This uh, front of the gift shop is the most complex of the model. It's got a lot of pieces, we got a lot of angles. Now drop my floor in there. And our plan is to actually add detail inside all this and nice lighting and uh, make it look really cool uh, for when you are looking at it from the outside in. It should be pretty nice. Next step is the, this little cog piece right here. And that keeps all of these pieces in alignment. We'll just kind of out. Go ahead and tap these in place. Almost got them all. There we go. This is looking pretty good. So these cool little arch pieces. Let's see, then these rest on top of that and they just slide right in. We got all of those little curved arch supports and just to kind of speed things up, these little pie pie shaped pieces. I taped them together already. Will rest be attached right on there. All right. The last section is of this roof complex is um, this uh, piece here and what it's made up of there's this uh, long tab piece right here that goes in there. When we got this for some reason uh, the laser cutter missed the slots for right in here. Um, so that piece is coming with a missing roof piece. But this tab just goes in the bottom. These little short T tabs go around and what that does is that fits in nicely into this section here. And then these pieces, these little pizza slices, uh, make this nice semicircular roof. And there's part 23, which goes into the tab this tab goes into um, th here and then if this was cut out correctly uh, this tab would go in there and there'd be one more hole for that so that's why I have this all kind of taped together at the moment and uh, as one piece because it doesn't hold together because we're missing those holes but like I said uh, that piece is coming here shortly and that 
will set in right here quite nicely. These are the last roof pieces. So I'm going to put you on, I'll assemble this real quick. All right, well, we have now kind of have the rough assembly of this building put together. Um, we discovered a couple things that we were missing uh, one roof piece and over here, um, the laser cutter missed a, a few slots. So we're getting those recut. But in the meantime, now you get a pretty good idea that this is a, a, a pretty substantial uh, model here. And as it sits on the table right now, it's almost 200 pounds and it's uh, 80 inches long. We're about uh, 20 inches wide. And how tall are we? We are about uh, 20 inches tall. So a pretty significant, substantial model. And now this is where real fun begins is how are we going to detail this thing? And I've gotten some ideas. Uh, most of our other station platforms have this kind of a uh, uh, tile and when we put that down uh, it's going to come up pretty close to the top of that so that will be okay and I think what we're going to do is use uh, this type of uh, uh, stone brick kind of a rough cut stone brick and I think we're going to bring that all the way up to uh, the first floor will be uh, all this type of, uh, of stone brick, and I'll get you a close-up of that. And then from the wood going the, from the second story, I think we're going to do all that in, um, in wood. And I decided on this uh, brass uh, excuse me, base strip, and it's, uh, what is it? Uh, it's a uh, one-eighth by half inch by 24 inches. So we'll go ahead and panel the entire second floor. And then for the top, I really like this stuff. This stuff is great. Uh, this is kind of a dirty piece, but this is a, a roofing material called an ice break. And uh, you can heat that up and apply it here. And it, what I like about it, rather than the tar paper or some of the other things that people use, uh, this is a little bit harder to find, but the scale of the, uh, of the sand in here is a perfect match for, the, for this scale of building. So it looks a lot more realistic. Uh, the next thing that we, you know, that we got to figure out is um, on the back side here, you know, what type of lighting are we going to have on the outside? And then on the inside, uh, this is going to be a gift shop, these two floors. This is a restaurant. This is a hotel. Um, these are, this is also kind of part of the hotel. And then back here is the cargo office. So what's the best way to do the interior on that so that when you're kind of looking in, you get it matches, uh, tells the story of the building. I uh, found some, uh, I think we'll put some uh, little uh, lace draperies in here with some miniature dollhouse lights behind it so you could get the room that, the, the feel that's a bedroom. Uh, we'll put uh, some tables and lights inside of here for the restaurant. And um, each section inside is going to have a different type of tile floor and that will help delineate the different areas so that you know that's the restaurant and that's the cargo. Just from a little bit of, uh, a little ways away, you have a little bit of some nice visual cues. And we're getting all the uh, windows are going to be cut out with the, uh, the water jet laser down in Arizona. And so those are coming. I've ordered those. And um, just kind of figuring out how this is all going to come together and in the, in the right steps so we aren't. Uh, having to undo some steps uh, as we move along. So, anyway. So, thanks again for watching. I'm Holly McLean with Train Lead Tech TV and the Alpine and Western Pacific Railroad. I hope you enjoyed this segment and looking forward to uh, working on the next segment. We'll uh, probably be back in a few weeks or so once we get the additional pieces in and kind of. Uh, figure out the materials and so forth that we want to start uh, adding the detail and actually uh, permanently assembling these pieces. 
So until thank, next time, have any questions, suggestions, comments, please email me at holly at trainlee.com. And we'll see you soon. Again, thank you for watching.